We are now almost at the end of the test paper and these are a few thinking questions. This one is based on a right triangle. The question is, the perimeter of a right triangle is 60 cm. The length of the hypotenuse is 6 cm more than twice the length of one of the other sides. Find the length of all three sides. So I like you to copy the question, pause the video and once you have done your solution then look into my suggestions. Now here is how we should approach. The question is about a right triangle. So let's sketch one. So a rough sketch will do but it helps. So this is kind of a right triangle for us and let us say the sides of the triangles are A, B and C and that is the right angle for us. Now the question is perimeter of the right triangle is 60 centimeter. That means A plus B plus C is equal to 60 centimeters. Now the second condition is that the length of hypotenuse is 6 centimeter more than twice the length of one of the other sides. That means C, the length of hypotenuse is 6 centimeter more, 6 plus twice the length of other side. So let the other side be 2B, right? So let it be twice B. So that is how these sides are related. And now we need to find length of each side. So we need to find what is A, B and C. Now there are three variables here and we have to have three equations to solve them. Now the third equation is from the Pythagorean theorem which is A square plus B square equals to C square. So now we have three equations and we should be in a position to solve this question. Now how to relate them? That is how we have to look into and find a solution. Now we can say that C is 6 plus 2B and A square plus B square is C square. So we can substitute this value of C here and then solve both sides. So that is one thing to do. Second, we also have an equation here which is A plus B plus C equals 60. We can place the C value here. So we get two equations with A and B. And now it is easier for us to isolate and solve for the, all the three variables. So that is the kind of strategy we are working on with. So let's start solving. Uh, so what we will do first step is substitute C into this equation. Let's number the equations. So our equations are 1, 2 and 3. Now let us substitute the value of C from 2 to 1. So we'll do substitute 2 to 1 and then write this equation. So we have A plus B and instead of C I'm writing 6 plus 2B equals to 60. Now that gives us that A plus 3B equals to 60 minus 6 which is 54. So, so we get a relation with A plus 3B as equals to 54 and from here we can write A equals to 54 minus 3B. So now we know A in terms of B, we know C in terms of B. Now if I write everything in terms of B then I'll have a quadratic equation in B, one variable. It'll be easier for us to solve, right? So that is what we are going to do now. So that is, this is equation 3 for us. I mean, this is equation, let's say, 4 for us. So we'll substitute 4 in 3. So let's substitute 4, and we also know what is C, which is 2, and we'll substitute them in equation 3 and see what we get. So we have A square plus B square equals to C square. Instead of A, I will write 54 minus 3B. So we have 54 minus 3B whole square plus b square equals to c square and c is 6 plus 2b whole square. So now we have one equation which has only one variable and that is b. So we can isolate b and find its value. So let's expand this. So we have 54 square. So 54 square is, let's calculate. 
54 square equals to 29 16. So we are expanding this. We get 29 16 minus 2 times 54 times 3. That is 6 times 54. That gives us 324. 324b plus 3b square, which is 9b square. Now we have b square here. And we'll expand the right side. 6 square is 36. 2 times AB. 6 times 2, 12 times 2, 24. So plus 24B. And plus 2B square, that is 4B square. So we have this equation now in B. So let's collect all the terms on the left side. Writing them in order. So we have 9B square plus 9b square plus b square minus 4b square. Now amongst the b terms we have minus 324b and then we have 24b so minus 24b. Amongst the constants we have plus 2916 minus 36. So we have taken care of all the terms on the right. Brought them to left. Now we can combine the terms. So 9 plus 1 10 minus 4 is 6b squared. So it's 6b squared. And here we have 324 minus 24, which is 328b. And then we have 2916 minus 36. That gives us 2880. So you get plus 2880 equals to 0. So that is the equation, quadratic equation in B. Now we can take six common, it seems they all are even numbers and if you add them, they are multiples of three also. So we can take six common and we get b square minus 328 divided by six gives us uh, 320, this is two plus two is four, 348, two plus two is four. 348 divided by six equals to 58 so we have 58 B and 2880 divided by 6 is 480 so we get plus 480 here equals to 0 now we can factor this or we can use quadratic formula to get the answer right so let's use quadratic formula to to get this answer which is let's try to do it here so the quadratic formula will give us b equals to minus of b, which is 58, plus or minus square of 58 square, minus 58 square, which is, so I'm running out of space. Let me write first, minus 58 square, minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 480. Square root divided by 2 times a, which is 1. So let's find what this is. So, so it is 58 square minus 4 times 480 equals to 1444 and square root of 1444 is 38. So we have 58 plus minus 38 over 2. And that gives us two values. So for a triangle, we can only take positive values. And there are two values here the other one so one is 58 minus 38 which is 20 and 20 divided by 2 is 10 so we get one value of B so let me now do the rest of the question right here in the center so I'm bringing this here we could actually squeeze it in here B equals to so one of those answers is 58 minus 38 which is 20 20 divided by 2 is 10 so that is one solution. Second is 58 plus 38. So let's do 58 plus 38. And we get 96 divided by 2. And that gives us 48. Now B is a smaller side. So we cannot really get 48 as one of the answers. Because then 48 is going to be much larger. So that doesn't seem to be appropriate. So 10 is, is the right answer for us. So we'll ignore 48, right? So that gives us B as 10. Now, when you know what B is, you can find all the other sides, right? So we know B 
is 10. So write down our answer as b equals to 10 centimeters. And then we can find what c is. c is equals to 6 plus 2 times b. That means 6 plus 20. That is 26 centimeter. And a is equals to 54 minus 3b. 54 minus 30. And that gives us 24 centimeter. So these are the three sides of the triangle 24, 26 and 10. We can add them and then check whether these are right answers or not, right? So when you add them, you do get 60. So when you add them up, you do get 60. So anyway, the idea is that when you have some conditions given, try to form equations and remember if there are three variables we definitely need three equations to solve them so once you have three variables and three equations they can always be solved you may need some patience and hard work to get the answer once you get the answer write it very clearly and include the units in your test paper so we have our answer right there so let me write down answer is the sides of the triangles are 10 centimeters 24 centimeter and hypotenuse is 26 centimeters. Thank you.